everyone welcome back today I'm gonna to be taking a break from all the fall DIY and we are going to do a super cute Halloween decor with some Dollar Tree picture frames um, we are actually gonna make them into a lantern that we put all four of them together and we'll place lights in them and then I already did one of the picture frames um, and it's just all off the glass. Uh, so the first thing that we are going to do is I'm going to take these picture frames and I'm going to take off the backs on all of them. And then I am going to take a pl some pliers. Well, first I'm going to take out the glass, set that aside. I'm going to take the pliers and I am going to pull those tabs out because I do not need them because I will be gluing in the glass back into the frame. All right, so now that we have our frames prepped, we're gonna take our glass and we're gonna set those to the side. The picture frames, uh, because they're black, I'm going to leave them black. We are not going to do anything with them. We're all going to be doing everything on the glass. And everything that I'm using um, will be linked in the description below. Um, the pictures, I'm going to place a picture on every one, like I did with this one. Um, I do have the links. I just put these together in Canva. And I have the links below if you wanted to print them out. So what we are going to do is I am going to go ahead and I am going to cut out our little pictures. So I just take a pair of scissors and I will cut out as close as I can on all of them. This haunted house, I will use the X-Acto knife as well on certain spots. to make sure I get as close as I can to everything. All right, so now that we have our images that I printed out, cut out, <clears throat> we are going to bring back our glass and we are gonna Mod Podge the pictures on the frame. It doesn't matter where you put them. I'm just gonna put them just random on our glass. So what I'm going to do, so I'm gonna grab just a sheet of paper and I am going to grab my Mod Podge and it's just matte Mod Podge that I got from the Dollar Tree and a paintbrush. And I'm gonna add a thin layer over the whole thing. And I'm not gonna make it too thick. I don't want it to appear white. I want it to dry clear. And just be careful, the small parts that you cut off of your image, they will tear once it starts getting wet. Once you have it, your Mod Podge on, you're then gonna take it and you're just gonna place it on your glass carefully, making sure not to rip it and I'm gonna pat it down. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna see kind of where it's puddling up. And I'm gonna rub it around just to make sure it is adhered to the glass as well as I can get it. I'm gonna take something flat and just gently run over it. Get any bubbles out of it that I can without ripping the image. And then I'm going to do that to every one and let them dry. All right, so now we have our images Mod Podged onto the glass of the picture frame. I am going to now paint them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna flip it over so you have your image 
and then I'm going to flip it over this way and I'm gonna take some orange paint and I'm going to paint the whole entire back just with the thin layer because when we put the lights in it I want to be able to um, see the lights through it um, so I'm just gonna put a thin layer over it use my sponge to take away the brush strokes and then I'm going to go around the edges with black paint and I am using matte All right, so we have all of our pieces of glass painted. I have the other ones set aside so they can dry. So what, am I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this whole um, picture black. That way you can't really, it's not really going to hurt it or it's not going to hurt it, um, but it's gonna, um, give a darker level that way you can't see through this as much as you can the rest of the glass so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add just a messy coat nothing precise just all over the back of this picture and then once I get done with that I'm gonna take this little dabber and I'm gonna wipe majority of it off I just want a little bit because now I'm just gonna go around the picture frame. I'm gonna dab it a little bit, make it dark, and then make it lighter as we go out. I'm gonna do that on each corner. Once I do that on each corner, I'm gonna go around the edge of the glass. And I'm just gonna darken that out. Then I'm gonna come in and in just in random spots, I'm just gonna apply black. All right, so now we have all of the orange and black paints on the back. And so now we are going to go ahead and place them back into their frames. And I am just going to hot glue them and throw some E6000 in the corner for a more permanent hold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my E6000 and a paintbrush. I'm gonna put some on the paintbrush, dab it in the corners. And I actually forgot a step. What I want to do is I want to make the frames look like window panels. So I'm going to take, and I'm just, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to guess what it is. I'm going to take some black string and I'm going to hold it on there. Just be careful doing this. Don't burn yourself. I let it cool down a minute and then I just stick it on there let it hold for a minute and you can use something to hold it down all right so now that you have the mimic of a picture frame I am going to take some hot glue, run a couple, and this is more of just a temporary hold. Long enough for that E6000 to dry. I'm going to take our picture frame and I'm going to pop it back in. I'm going to hold it down for a second. All right, so now we have all four of our picture frames completed. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to glue them together. 
and we want them to just stand up and they're going to come flush with each other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this one upside down. You just wanna make sure your images are going the right way. And I am, too, am gonna use E6000 and hot glue for this one. E6000 more for the permanent hold, hot glue for the temporary hold. What I'm going to do is just apply some E6000 in the corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue. I'm going to run this down. I'm going to add a dab in the corners. I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up as best as I can. All right. So we are going to do the same thing for the other picture frame. And there you have it. It was a little bit challenging. You've seen one piece kind of fell down. I just added some more hot glue. When you get it all together, you can then take your E6000, kind of bond that middle, because this is going to be more of a permanent hold. And I'm not worried about what the inside is going to look at look like because we're going to be um, placing stuff on the top of it anyways all right I did have to change the view of the camera um, that way we can add the stuff to the top that way y'all can see what I'm doing so the lantern part is complete so we have every part that we put together um, the one thing I did do off camera is I added um, a top what I did was I just took a Dollar Tree canvas and I set the picture frames on top of it traced it out used a razor blade and I cut out that square hot glued it or painted it and hot glued it on because one it my cuts weren't very pretty um, but two, I need to, I need something to put um, some floral squares on um, that I got from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to put all my fluff in. Um, so what we are going to do before we do that is I do want to add, I'm going to set this aside. I do want to add two just messy bows, nothing fancy. I pulled some of my Halloween ribbon from the wreaths that I have made. Um, I'm not going to do much measuring. I am just going to cut and we're gonna put them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just take, uh, I'll tell y'all how much it measured. So about 10 inches. So I'm gonna cut probably two of each. After you have all your ribbon cut, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack it. So I'll put one orange. Let's put a, hmm, let's do this one first. We'll do this one. Then we'll do a black. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bunch it in the middle. Take a pipe cleaner. Cut it in half. And I'm just going to tie it off. Alright. Now I need this to go into this floral foam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a skewer. I'm just going to break it in half. I'm going to take this pipe cleaner. 
I'm going to wrap this pipe cleaner around this skewer. I'm going to take some floral tape. I'm going to wrap that floral tape around. Just to hold that pipe cleaner in. Tear it off. And there I have just a little, a little messy bow just with the Halloween colors that we used on a little skewer that I can in return place inside the floral foam. And I'm going to make one more like that. All right. So we are pretty much done. Now we are just going to add some little finishing touches. And in order for me to add that, I am going to take these uh, floral blocks and I am just going to add some hot glue. Okay, so with that being done, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got a whole bunch of, and I might not use it all, but I just grabbed a whole bunch of Halloween decorations, some florals, some picks. And what I'm going to do is that's what I'm going to start cutting them apart. And then I am going to place them in the floral foam. And what I do on one side, I will do on the other side because that's just how my brain works. But you decorate however you want. One thing I do know is I don't want these in the floral foam, I want them down here. So what I'm going to do is I will take my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut a little hole in there until I can get all that all the way down in there because I'm gonna put this towards the side this way. The other one's going to be faced the other way and then I'm gonna place the bow in the floral foam right here, um, tucked next to it. Uh, but before I do that, I need to get my bow in there and cover up some of this floral foam in the back with these black flowers. That way you can't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add this next one into the other side pointing that way. And then I'm just going to take bits and pieces of the flower and cover all the floral foam. I may add the bells down the side. Um, and then when we're done, we'll come back. All right. So we're done. Um, I did end up using all the floral that I showed you. Um, it turned out cute. It did turn out large. Um, so it could easily be a centerpiece for your table, for your coffee table, wherever it's at. Um, I did grab some LED lights. I was gonna use white lights. However, because everything I used was from the Dollar Tree, I went ahead and grabbed some Dollar Tree lights and they are orange. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just slide them underneath. That way when it's time to change the batteries, all I have to do is just lift it up and change the batteries. So, I will set it up on my kitchen table, let you see how it looks um, when it's darker. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate all the supports and I thank you for watching, for liking my video. If you like this video, please make sure you like. Don't forget, everything in that I use will be in the description box below. If you enjoy watching crafts, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I hope y'all have a wonderful day.